You are watching all things real estate and more, with Ann Riley Caldwell. With a brand new episode on, do you have to be a U.S. citizen to have a property in the U.S.? Thanks for joining our podcast where we try to talk about all things real estate and one of the big topics that everybody has questions about and needs to know about or else you're probably not going to get in the house unless you have a whole lot of cash is lending <laughs> so i'm here today with jeff Suter, and we're covering all kinds of topics so the next one we're going to talk about is answering the question do you have to be a u.s citizen in order to own property in the u.s and the answer is no you do not there you go let's wraps up this no. <laughs> just kidding you were like yes a really short podcast version um we're going to talk just a little bit jeff's going to kind of give you an overview of what mm-hmm. that looks like yeah. and what some of those options are um we're going to go a little bit into you know what you can have if you don't have a social security number and you're not a u.s citizen but for details about your specific situation you know you're definitely going to want to reach out to him because it's going to Please. make a big difference Absolutely. as to yeah. what those we talk about puzzle pieces a lot and putting them together for people and game plans and so he's going to be able to answer more detailed questions about your specific situation but give us an overview of what that looks like right, so quick overview is um, if you're not a US citizen you fall in a couple different categories you're either a permanent resident alien um, on a work visa or what's considered a foreign national in the, in the mortgage world which would mean no social security number no work visa you're you're just a foreign national um, Any of them can own a home here in the States. Um, Ultimately, a permanent resident alien is viewed in the mortgage world as a U.S. citizen. So all rules apply as if you're a U.S. citizen. Uh, If you're on a work visa, uh, mainly an EAD, at that point you can do FHA, you can do conventional, you can do any loan that um, a U.S. citizen can do or a permanent resident alien can do. If you're on, let's say, an H-1B, which is a very specific work visa, um, you can do conventional. You cannot do FHA. You've got to have H-1B and EAD. But any work visa similar to an H-1B, you can do a conventional loan just as a U.S. citizen can. Um, If you are considered a foreign national, there are products available. You've got to have a little more money in the bank. Uh, You're looking at about 25% down and 12 months of reserves. So reserves being um, one one month's reserve equals one projected mortgage payment. Okay. So the goal there is 25% down and, and 12 months of reserve still left in the bank after you put the 25% down and you can own a home in the States. But it's still possible. It is very, very possible. Yes, ma'am. That, okay. that's, that's the key is if you want to own a home, you can um, just get with us and um, and we'll guide you through that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so there's a lot of requirements just like with all loans. And as you mm-hmm. said, depending on the type of loan, they're going to have to meet the usual program requirements right. for those. We hope you enjoyed watching All Things Real Estate and more with Ann Riley Caldwell. To learn more about Ann Riley or for your real estate needs, visit notyourordinaryagent.com or call 615 930 0313. Thanks for watching.